Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of Mod Daisy. Well, yet another busy day here at the Rest of Mod Development Facilities. Uh, this is uh, our modified uh, number 111 mod 40 slash 27, but this is the second iteration of the gun. Slightly different butt stock. Uh, we have not put a uh, leather flex lever on it yet, so because we're still mocking it up. So what we're going to do today is I've put the gun back together and fitted the stocks. They're appropriate. So the next thing to do is uh, move on to installing a butt plate and doing some other stuff and the gun will be ready to shoot. However, I discovered when I put it back together, the mainspring is dragging. So we're going to need to take the gun apart and find out why. Pretty simple process. Pop the forearm off. Next step is going to remove this stock bolt. Just pull this out of here. Place it in a container so you don't lose it. Dismount the stock, which is pretty easy. Stock spring stays put. That's always a nice feature. The next thing we're going to do is dismount this lever. This is an older lever, a cast iron lever. Uh, normally, I don't use the factory levers on these guns. What I will end up doing is cutting a new billet steel lever that eliminates this loop so we can get our flex plastic or excuse me flex leather strap in there to make the firing cycle a little happier now one of the things about guns that have been modded with the uh, model 27 sliding spring block is that the lever is under tension always under tension so when you remove one of these you have to thread it out completely because it's not going to just slide out it's going to work all the way out on its own thread so you hear that noise. Take your part and stick it over there. Old style lever, low pivot, long. Next step on this is to pull the trigger assembly out. It's a folded steel trigger, not a billet steel trigger. We do offer billet steel triggers, but we don't do a bunch of them because the, the folded metal uh, unit is pretty adequate for the needs. It, um, the guns are not gonna foul up. Alright, that's a little tricky. And the trigger's out. Now, we'll go ahead and back out a little bit. We're going to move this over to the workbench. Oh, wait a minute. Let me pull our 25, Model 25 magazine out of the gun and lay that off to the side. Alright, next step is we're going to dismount the plunger assembly. Now, because this is a Model 40 slash 27, there's no spring anchor, which is great because with no spring anchor, Getting the uh, last little bit out, just looking for a probe, the last little bit out is a pretty simple process. All right, so now I'm just going to find a long, thin piece of metal. I'm going to stick it down in here and grab the back of the plunger assembly. And we are just going to slide it out of the receiver and find out why our plunger assembly is dragging. It could be a variety of explanations. But we want to know, just because that's the kind of people we are. All right, it comes out. Let's go take it and put it on the bench. I'm kind of mystified at this point. It looks completely the way it ought to look. Now, this particular unit has a Model 99 spring on it that isn't as powerful as a 1938 spring. It doesn't have the compression. And I put it on there to find out if the gun would cycle faster because it wouldn't be as hard to to uh, work the lever but something's dragging somewhere this is not moving with the speed it needs to well I don't know what that is and I don't know why it is but I will find out and uh, that's it for today this is Shane Bruce rest on my daisy signing off